Hi everyone. We're back for our Wisdom Online Poetry class coming up. Um, you're seeing this on Friday. Um, we have a wonderful, I'm doing all the current uh, writers starting today with Steph Echevarria, who is a very beloved person in wisdom. Steph is a wisdom poet and artist. She teaches our visual journaling class, which is currently available as one of Wisdom's online classes. Steph is a word shaman who has known poetry since an early age. She tells us, in Mrs. Ebram's eighth grade English class, we learn poetry from looking at song lyrics. Poetry stuck with me and became a sort of structure to hang my teenage angst on. I dubbed it mental barf. It truly is like leaving myself breadcrumbs. That statement in itself just strikes me. Leaving yourself breadcrumbs by writing poems. Now I'm keeping a file of all the poems the wisdom poets send to me. I call the file Poets in Exile, because that's where we are. We can't gather together at our wisdom studio. We're all spread across Sacramento, and it's in runs, and we're in exile. So I'm going to read a poem Steph sent to me on April 7th as a response to some visual writing prompts I had sent out to the wisdom poets. I did, in fact, send a photo of a dandelion but, get this, Steph sent me her poem the day before I sent out the photo. Poet mind-melding at its best. So here is the poem, Dandelion. I am not a dandelion seed at the mercy of the wind. I am a perennial who may bloom over and over again. Nurtured by my rich soil, my compost, I may become dormant for a time, but determined to send my roots down, down, warm, water, earth. I keep growing ever on owning my seed. After I worked with this poem for a little while, I decided to look up the dandelion and find out more about it as a plant. And um, Steph, I have a challenge for you, or a suggestion, whichever, is that you also look up dandelion and find out a little more about that plant. It has one of the toughest root systems in the universe. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have a link at the end of this class about dandelions, and you can check it out. Okay? Love you. And so now let's dive into some wonderful poems by Stuff. Enjoy the class, and next week I'll send you another wisdom poet in exile and all her work. Bye.